Hi guys, how you doing today? This is D. Durrell with D. Durrell Life Solutions. Today we're going to discuss the mental health of Joe Biden, President Joe Biden. As you all know, President Joe Biden is in his late 70s, approaching 80s, and Joe Biden is probably one of the, most, the oldest elected presidents that we had. The only president that I know that was probably elected at that age was um, President Ronald Reagan. Now, the reason why I chose to do this particular video is would be to find out how people felt about the mental health of President Joe Biden as it relates to the responses that I received when I talked about the mental health stability of President, former President Donald Trump. I want you all to understand that I'm coming from a totally bi bipartisan, totally objective standpoint when I talk about and give any stance on the mental health of any public figure. Yes, I do have my own unique political orientation. I have my own unique political thoughts some that are not necessarily seen as being uh, mainstream, some that may be seen somewhat controversial, and some that pertains to the, to the total improvement of black people as a whole, which I think both political parties care less about. So when I talked about uh, President Donald Trump, I want you all to understand that it was not coming from a standpoint that was based in political ideology. I was strictly looking at things and assessing things based on what I've seen and observed. And I have had this type of uh, position on any president that I deem um, having mental uh, issues or having some level of mental functioning that is below what I think a president should have operating in that capacity. Because you are basically the leader of the most powerful country in the world and in human history. Therefore, you should be operating at an optimal, optimal level at all times. Now, as it relates to down to, I'm sorry, as it relates to Joe Biden, I want you to understand that Joe Biden has always had a very colorful, very vivid like personality. Joe Biden has had, has always been a president has always been a political figure because Joe Biden has been in politics for over 40, 50 years. I'm talking about as going back to the late 60s, early 70s. Joe Biden was in Congress, Senate, and his political career slowly progressed to the point of him being vice president and now being president. So I want you all to understand that Joe Biden has always been a person who was susceptible to gaps. Gaps meaning that you said things that were somewhat seen as politically incorrect that could potentially harm your career, your image, and so forth. Don, um, Joe Biden has repetitively stated things throughout his career, particularly as he got older and older, that were seen as embarrassing and would have been seen as hurting his political career. This is something that is not anything new for anyone that has followed Joe Biden. We understand that Joe Biden was seen as a liability even for President Barack Obama when he chose him as his vice president, as his running mate. Now, I wholeheartedly think that Joe Biden, at his age, is functioning mentally at the level of any other person at that age. There is a decline in his memory, a decline in his um, ability to, to clarify things, his processing, um, his, his clarity and in, 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 in thoughts and so forth to organize things concisely. I do think that he's been coached up a lot to do what he's doing. I do think that uh, there are some issues that, that are being hidden, just like any older president who functions in a certain way. The political um, t 
team around him will do a great job of hiding those things, just like they did for Donald Trump. I think there's a lot of things, uh, certain levels of incoherence that Donald Trump has. Also, I feel that, that Joe Biden has that same level, and they're doing a great job of hiding those things. He's been highly prepped before he speaks in front of the American public. I think that he is not operating day-to-day -day activities. I think there are people who put that money behind him to serve as a figurehead, and he is not operating the day-to-day -day operations of a president. This is nothing new because these things happened for Donald Trump and other previous presidents that had some issues of functioning day to day. This is a very, very stressful job. This is a very, very um, time consuming, very mentally exhausting job in which you are on 24 hour uh, uh, notice at all times. You don't have a day off being a president. This is a, this is a job that you work every day. Some days more than others, but this is something that goes on every day. So I think that his mental status is at a level that is representative of most people at that age. But then you only can compare that to those who are younger, who are more proficient and more productive. So for a 78, 79 year old man, He's functioning probably on poor, on par, but there's no way that we can compare that to someone who is president, sitting and president in the late 40s, 50s, and 60s. That's pretty much where I see Joe Biden. Um, I think Joe Biden is probably at a level that is higher than Donald Trump, based on the fact that at least Joe Biden is able to repress, or, or not, I won't say repress, but suppress some of his thoughts and feelings that most people that age don't care what anybody thinks or says. I think Joe Biden has made a conscious effort based on the coaching and the team around him not to say stupid things. Now, before Joe Biden, Joe Biden has ran for president multiple times, and when he was younger, he cared less about some of the things that he would say, and um, it hurt him a little bit, and, and so on, but he cared less. But as he got older and now he's at that stage of being vice president, now president, uh, things are, his political career has been somewhat supervised a little bit more carefully. So that's kind of what I think of as it relates to Joe Biden. I know there are going to be people, particularly in this space, who are very conservative, who, dis who may disagree with what I said about Joe Biden. I know there'll be many of you who are going to say I came on easier on Joe Biden than I did on Donald Trump. And I'm going to say to you that you don't know what you're talking about. I'm, <laughs> I'm basically giving my, my opinion. Again, this is not me assessing anyone. I'm not providing any services. I'm not diagnosing anybody with anything. I'm only attempting to describe what I feel his level of function is based on what I see in here when he's on television. I never met the man personally. I never met Donald Trump personally. So before anybody um, says anything, and please leave comments in the comment section. Please subscribe and share. And, and, um, and, you know, hey, give me your opinion. I'm more than happy to listen. Have a great day.